Um, together, Lisa and I run the Children's Bereavement Project, which is really a special program directed solely for young people, all of whom have experienced the death of a loved one. It's a program that offers groups. Each of them have their own experiences, and they can share that to receive support that they have every right to receive. My father passed away when I was three years old, and I heard about this bereavement group and I said hey I'd like to talk about my father and let everyone know that I've lost someone in my life too and just to be able to give comfort from to someone and receive comfort from someone else is my ultimate goal that's a good idea we can go around. I understand what you're saying because I feel I feel like um, I can't talk to my family sometimes neither because they go going they feeling the same thing you are. So, you know, that might make them more upset and, you know, they might, they might not be able to deal with it in a way. We actually go into the schools and we do classroom presentations. We don't place any restrictions on who can join and through different activities and discussion topics, they're able to share their ideas for how to get support and how to be supported with each other. My, da my dad was in the hospital for a year, you know. Half the time he was unconscious, he was this, he was that. And the, like the day before the, the whole thing started, I was mad at him, you know, and I regret it so bad because I said something like really bad to him that stays with me my whole life, you know? I, I, agree, I agree with what she's saying because I know because I was angry with my mother when I found out that my mother had, passed, had died because um, I had just spoke to her that same day and then a couple of hours later, I found out, and I was just so angry, I, I couldn't talk to nobody. When I seen the emotion, it gave me mem it gave it gave me memories, and like I got emotional too. You know, I probably like put my head down and start thinking. You know, I, I look at them, I see the eyes getting watery. Now I see I'm not the only one that that struggles with a death. The Memorial Wall is a permanent place for young people to come and create with their own images, their own memories, their own ideas, symbols of their loved ones. It says his name, Robert Edward Washington Jr., rest in peace, 1952 to 1986. You're still alive in my heart. Many of our young people don't have that option to go visit a gravesite, and we hope to create a location and a permanent memory for them that they could come and visit. Thank you. Well, the balloon is like... I'm sorry, so Janice is the yellow... It's a balloon you pick out. Green. You write a letter, you, you shrink it. They put it into the balloon. You pick your own color and you write down, you know what I mean? Like, the last words you want to say to this person, like, what you were feeling, you know? And it's your own personal thing. It's not like, oh, okay, somebody else has to read it. You know what I mean? You get to share if you want to. But, I mean... It's like, I, I mean, I, for me it was good because there were certain things. I didn't get to see my dad the day he died. And like, there were so many things I wanted to say. And like, it's just like that balloon is just going to go up to them. I mean, you know? I mean, you know it's not in reality, but in your heart, you're like, okay, you know, that letter is going to get to that person, you know? I wrote in a letter that I want to go to college and that I hope he continues to look over the family. It's like letting go, like you let go of that balloon, it's like letting go of that person, but you're actually telling them the last things you want to say. We've seen how hard it is to deal with death, and that's why it's really important for you to find someone you can talk to whether it be your friends, your family, a support group, or the clergy. For more information about this show and other shows, you can visit inthemix.org. You'll find stories written by teens, more RIP pictures, video clips, resources, and more.